Hey guys, it's Arsene Nomato here, welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life and in the last episode we were falling to our death. Oh, <laughs> ladders, so nice. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, this is a different recording session, like I thought I would tell you. Ah! It, uh, um, ah! Don't you do that. Ah, oh, Jesus! God dang it! Dead. Okay. I gotta introduce a few enemies here. First of all, this is a bull squid. They spit at you, they'll flick their tail at you. Uh, obviously not seen in uh, Half-Life 2. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, they're kind of annoying, take a few bullets. And here we have barnacles. Now these are in Half-Life 2. These are motherfuckers! Come on, here we go. Blech. When they throw up, you know they're dead. Now, where do we want to go? Uh, uh, I think we want to go over there. Um, uh, oh, that didn't work. Okay. Um, yeah, so we want to go to the other side. If you know how to do that, then good for you. For me, on the other hand, I'm a bit stupider. Okay, this needs to be the way. But it's always a good sign. Charge health. Uh, if my health is a little inconsistent from the last episode, I'm sorry. But uh, that is because. I, I I forgot to save between episodes, so you know, whatever. I I'm recording this one day after I uploaded the last episode. So yes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The most pointless room in the game. Serve it up Gary's way. Pop. Okay. Yes. These boxes or these crates or whatever you wanna. Oh, it's freaking almost killed me. I mean, what the hell is the point of this room? I mean, I know this discussion has gone over many a time, but seriously, think about it. Look at this room. Look at how the mass of it. The hell, what the hell is the point of a bottomless cliff? Have you guys ever gone into a factory or a facility or anything like that and then just look down and go, Oh, look, a bottomless pit. Howdy doody. Oh, well. Anyway, you know. Let's continue along. Open the goddamn door. Hup, 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 hup. Alright. Yes, we are progressi progressing rather quickly, although uh, I was looking at some other uh, LPs I mean, well, like, not watching, but, you know oh, look, we're on the other side uh, you know, just browsing about and <laughs> saw some people that are, like, way further than me at, like, episode 3, I'm like, oh, this is not a speed run although I can speed run this game pretty bad well, well, I can, I can do it well at the beginning, I and mean, then I'll just about halfway through the game, or near the end, or whatever, I'll start to suck. Well, that can't be good for your health. I mean, gee whiz. Thanks for the health in that, though. Okay, so, basically, the idea of this area here is you cannot go that way, because, if you watch... Yeah. So, what you want to do is you want to come this way, and you're like, Oh no, I can't open the door! Let me in, fuckface! As you see, that scientist get eaten by a barnacle, which I completely miss. If that was a scientist. Alright, and then you want to be careful. But, if you know anything about Half-Life at all... Wow. Uh, you would know that this is the true Gordon Freeman way. The events. Be careful of this barnacle. Four. Okay, four shots. Just in case you didn't know. By the way, these vending machines, boop, 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 yeah, he said, they recover one health. Um, why didn't you open the door, motherfucker? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're just an idiot, aren't you? There you go. Uh, so, to turn off the voltage, press that. Da -da -da -da. Now, here's something you can do in this game, I'm not sure if I showed you. Oh, I did a little bit. Escorting. Press E. So basically you just called you stupid. You're going to have to leave me here. Oh, you're not going to follow me. Whatever. Uh, another thing is these doors, if they have the handlebar on them, I mean this is probably real life stuff, I don't know. I don't have these doors in my house, do you? If you do, that is awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, these handlebars on this side mean you can open it. If it's just a little thing like that, you cannot. So, there you go, magic. Alright, let's continue along. Ah, of course. Luckily for convenient windows. Um, correct. Oh, 
Hello, beautiful. How's it going? Having a fun time? Having a good time? Having a good time? What did you just break? What the hell did you just break? God damn it, I wanna freaking come in there and break you. Okay, that's not working. What? What are you doing? Do what? You're gonna open the door or you're just gonna stand there? Thank you. Grr. Nice. Just nice. All in my shoes. <sighs> you know, if you, like people out there, if you're gonna die at my feet, can you at least do it like, you know, graciously? I don't know, man. Alright, I know where I have to go, but I just wanna check th this way. Everything. Come on, yes. Oh, jeez. It's one thing I feel other with you, isn't it? Alright. Uh, ooh. Da 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 da. Shotgun already. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Open the. Oh, God. Look out. Saved your life. Bad feeling about this. And he opens the. the, the what is that smell? Uh. Okay. That was weird. Anyway, see you later, Blues Brother. Um, oh yeah, that's right. And you come in here and you realize there's nothing to do. God damn it. Oh, that was a terrible shot. I'm sorry. Anyway, so this whole area here is good for nothing. I guess it's like ammo or something. I don't know. Take that. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, get your shotgun filled up, which has eight shots. I'm not sure if. Did one and a half have to have eight shots or six shots? I don't know, anything that's divis divisible by two or whatever it is, I, I just, I just, you know, little thing to me. Am I the only person in the world that gets, uh, six and nine mixed up? Or, oh, no, was it seven and nine? See, I'm already getting mixed up. Gee whiz, oh, hold on. Alright, let's go. Boop. That was cool. If you couldn't tell, the water is electrified here, so, you know. Yay! I think that makes it not electrified, which is helpful, so we can go up to here, walk through here, and then... Oh, Jesus Christ! Get that! Oh, Jesus! Gah! I think that's why I couldn't walk past them. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Whoa! Hey! Almost got a free haircut. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, that guy did. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Poor Pim doesn't need a haircut. He's got a goatee. Goatees are awesome. I want a goatee. I do not have a goatee. I also want a mustache. I do not have a mustache. Anyway. That's how I'm going to describe myself in these videos. If you want to find me in real life, just look for a person without these features. <laughs> okay. So, we want to get up there. By the way, the push things just walk into them. Bit of a lazy mechanic, if you ask me. Oh, uh, oh that was pretty easy. I'm gonna come up here and climb up this. Uh, uh, and jump off because, you know. Wait, hold on. And are you there? What? Uh, uh. He jumped. Come on, God! Get uh. pushing me away! God dang it. Wait, yes, no, I've got it, aha, I'm a genius. Okay, and then we come down here, back to where we started. God damn it. Piss me off. Hey buddy, how's it going? I think he's dead. Ah, so yeah, this facility has got, you know, turrets, because, that's, I don't know, for some reason. Does your workplace have Taurus? Mine does. <laughs> you know, just in case. something. Does that say Valve? B-A-L-V-E. It's got the little E. I think I just discovered an Easter egg on camera. Ah! Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. I'm going to go down in history for this. Guys, report this to someone. Okay, what we're going to do here is run. And you're good. Okay. Oh! Of course. Ah. Oh. Too bad. 
Go ahead and cry. Anyway, there goes my timer. That annoying beeping is gonna drive me insane. Anyway, next time let's play Half-Life. We'll continue a long. I really need to think of like something more interesting to say. I'll see you next time. Bye.